Well, India's uh, former foreign minister and a veteran BJP leader, Shushma Swaraj, has passed away at the age of 67. She was admitted to Delhi's aims after she had suffered a heart attack just yesterday. Leaders across the political spectrum paid their respects to Shushma Swaraj, who many uh, call the people's foreign minister. Currently, the mortal remains of the veteran leader are at the BJP headquarters in New Delhi. Hundreds of party workers and leaders have flocked to the office to pay their final respects to their beloved leader. The mortal remains will be at the headquarters until 3 p.m., after which her final riots will be performed at the Lodi crematorium here in New Delhi. Shishma Swaraj served as the external affairs minister during the 2014 to 19 term of Prime Minister Modi. She had also served as a minister under the former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Shishma Swaraj had a well, a long political career. She also served as uh, the leader of the opposition during, look, during the UPA too. She had, of course, a slow but steady rise in politics. She was one of the youngest politicians to be sent to the assembly in the state of Haryana. Her family has a solid RSS background, but her tryst with politics started with the Socialist Party. Subsequently, she shifted to the BJP. Shishma Swaraj in her first avatar was considered to be a conservative face of the BJP. But there was more to the woman than what politics of her time wanted her to be. Yes, she created moments for the Indian right, but her independence as a leader was unquestioned. She was forthright and enjoyed great enjoyed great equations with the Congress party as well. Uh, in fact, during their time in power, that is for 10 years, Shishma Swaraj was the only politician who enjoyed some sort of a bond with the UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi. Shishma Swaraj was a wonderful orator. Before being taken to Ames, she had tweeted, in fact, about the historic decision of the Lok Sabha passing the bill to abrogate Article 370. On Tuesday evening, she was admitted to Ames and uh, the senior BJP leaders have, uh, in fact, had rushed to the hospital last night. Shushma Swaraj, like Arun Jaitley and a few others, uh, were, in fact, part of the old BJP and could connect very well with the new BJP leaders as well. So, well, as we said, a powerful orator, people's minister, politician of many firsts, here's a tribute to India's political trailblazer. A lawyer in the Supreme Court, politician, youngest cabinet minister in Haryana, first female spokesperson of a national party. <laughs> BJP's first female chief minister, union cabinet minister, general secretary of BJP, leader of opposition, minister of external affairs. The only female parliamentarian to receive the outstanding parliamentarian award, recipient of Spain's Grand Cross of Order of Civil Merit. The story of Sushma is a remarkable story full of many firsts, twists and turns. As a student at university, Sushma Swaraj won the Best Hindi Speaker Award for three consecutive years. That was only a sign of things to come. Sushma Swaraj's political entry came at a critical time in Indian politics. Jay Prakash Narayan launched the Total Revolution Movement. Sushma Swaraj took part in it. At the age of only 25 years, Sushma Swaraj became the member of Haryana Legislative Assembly. From then, there was no looking back. In the next 25 years, Sushma Swaraj became a Lok Sabha member, a Rajya Sabha member, a Chief Minister, a Union Cabinet Minister, fought against the then Congress President Sonia Gandhi and more.
During the UPA regime, Sushma Swaraj was the face of the opposition. She spearheaded the next generation of BJP leaders who took the mantle from the old brigade. In 2009, Sushma Swaraj became the leader of opposition. It was a time of many allegations of corruption. She fought the Congress tooth and nail in the parliament. Her fiery speeches in the parliament inspired a party during the testing phase. In 2014, when the NDA came to power, Sushma Swaraj became India's external affairs minister, the second woman after Indira Gandhi to hold the office. Sushma Swaraj's voice now became the voice of modern India at the global stage. An astute politician who made the country proud in international forums, Sushma Swaraj's humanitarian work is commendable. Her efforts to support Nepal during the 2015 earthquake won her global respect and with it the Grand Cross of Order of Civil Merit from the Spanish government. An Indian who was admired across the world. Ever her political rivals adored her oratory skills. Her iconic speeches in the parliament were always received with rapt attention. Sushma Swaraj's voice was an essentially Indian voice. The voice of a self-made Indian woman politician, that voice of a successful woman born in independent India. But the echoes of that iconic voice will linger on forever in Indian politics. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. All right, Shishma Swaraj, truly a people's minister then, of course, as many have pointed out, she's uh, been just a tweet away when it comes to helping people through social media platforms as well. And that, of course, uh, our wish was that we're continuing to get off party workers who are paying their last respects uh, to Shishma Swaraj, who, whose mortal remains uh, are at the BJP headquarters uh, in about an hour or less than that, uh, she will be cremated at the Lodi crematorium here in the national uh, capital. And it's so ironic that just a few hours before her death, she had tweeted uh, about Article 317 facts, saying, was waiting to see this day in my lifetime. This morning, uh, Prime Minister Modi was at her residence uh, paying his last respects. He was extremely emotional, uh, as was L.K. Advani, who is considered to be Shushma Swaraj's mentor, uh, somebody who has had a long political relationship with Shushma Swaraj. Uh, in fact, he also said that not once did she forget to bring him his favorite chocolate cake uh, when it was his birthday. So clearly, um, many politicians there remembering Shushma Swaraj, the leader, very, very fondly. And that, of course, we've seen across party lines. We know that Mayavati also paid her last respects uh, to Shushma Swaraj. A close friend uh, is what she called her. Uh, also, Sonia Gandhi was present at her home this morning to pay her last respects, as well as Rahul Gandhi. And Sonia Gandhi, as a UPA chairperson, enjoyed quite a cordial and good relationship with the former foreign minister and former leader of the opposition, Shishma Swaraj, during the UPA's 10 years in power. In fact, Shishma Swaraj uh, had uh, several uh, good relationships with uh, leaders from across party lines, including, of course, the Congress. But uh, barely three hours after that uh, Twitter, uh, that tweet, as we said, Shishma Swaraj had a sudden demise. She died of cardiac arrest. Even yesterday, several politicians uh, rushed to meet her uh, and her family uh, at the Ames Hospital when the news started to trickle in.